even it seems kind of a little random, right? Um, I don't know if I fully addressed. Did I fully address the baby stuff yesterday? I think I did. I think I did address um the baby. Um, by the way, oh, I'll give you all a quick update. Maybe it goes into the baby as well. Um, talk to my man Charlemagne today. Um, just always want you to know, you know, me and Charlemagne, we have a relationship. And we talked today, you know, I think yesterday I was like, yo, Charlemagne, you are capping, brother. And it was really about like, you know, um, he has a podcast on his network called Horrible Decisions. His podcast network, network is called Black Effect. And that young lady, her name is Wheezy, just chose to interject herself into what I had going on with those Stooges, Rory and Millie Mall, and basically said, "Oh, academics is cloud chasing." That, I'm just summarizing. He cloud chasing by mentioning them, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, it felt so disrespectful to me because I'm like, if you think I need to cloud chase off two Stooges, you have me severely fucked up. Now I'm gonna be honest, and I did say, it, I said, "Yo, listen." I get it. Ruri and Millie Mall, they were paying her salary or paying her the bill for like they rent uh, they rent studio time there to record their podcast. So I get why she was trying to chime in. But you got to chime in a way without trying to act like I'm cloud chasing. Now I'm about to finna talk about all y'all feel me. Ruri and Millie Mall, I don't care what they did. I get it. They, they just stole Joe's audience. People think Joe fraud and whatever the case is. I love Joe, but that's. Joe got to get his audience back on his lonely. You feel me? Good luck to Joe. Them niggas not fucking with me. And to think that I'm cloud chasing, I just felt like just disrespected. Um, so anyway, I addressed them and Charlemagne had came back and he said, yo, even because they, they were getting like eight to 18,000 views on a YouTube video per episode. Shomi was like, nah, nah. He, he came back on. He was like, yo, this is what I got to, like, you know, teach act. Like, you got YouTube numbers and you got, like, the overall numbers and people listen to it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, he made it seem like it was, like, these motherfuckers was getting, like, 600, 700,000, like, you know what I mean, streams or views or downloads, whatever the fuck the case is from every episode. And I just said, that's Cap. And I talked to him today. And, you know, he clarified. He said, this is per month. Now, I don't know how much they drop a week or whatever the case is. Now, obviously, he's a network person because he owns the Black Effect. So they're thinking about whatever Google Play did, where their podcast is on there, what Spotify did, Apple did, what Amazon did for people who use Amazon Music to listen to podcasts. Um, what people use the just the podcast app. There's a bunch of other places that you know they service or they issue RSS feeds. And he says, or he said to me today, he said, "Act, I meant that per month." And I looked at it and I'm like, "Okay, okay, I understand that." Even though, still, truth be told, the numbers on YouTube is pathetic and also really i told him and, and by the way you know i mean i'm truthful he, he said yo i he said to me say yo i told shorty yo you should just you should stay out of if ak is going at rury and Millie mall with them them niggas you should stay out of it you feel me because this is somebody who you you, you go at him is gonna get a little bit whatever whatever so you know salute to Charlemagne for that um I say all that to say, you know, salute to the black effect. But Shorty over there shouldn't even be mentioning my name. I'm gonna be very honest. Like I feel I felt a little offended. And despite even Charlemagne clarifying those numbers that it wasn't per episode, it was per month, them or that particular girl over there should just chill. I ain't got no issue I ain't had no issue with you before you start coming at me. But I'm here to serve smoke to anybody I promise with me, all right? Anyway, so just want to get Charlemagne, you know, like we we talk shop today like we normally do. Um if you ever wonder like 
I have respect for him because, like, I look at in an evolving space that I'm in. You have to think about it. I have to see what's next. Yo, when I was on YouTube in 2014, I thought if I didn't get on a radio station, I wasn't going to be known by the masses. It took everyday struggle and a lot of exposure there. It also took me building my own platform. So, I... You know, I've always looked at other people in what's the next. And like even now, yo, I've been on Twitch. I've done shows. I've pitch shows, soul shows, everyday struggle, my YouTube, this and third. And I've always looked to see what's next. And I do respect Charlamagne in that respect because I think he's showing what's next. My nigga writing books. My nigga exclusively just going to colleges and giving speeches, getting a lot of fucking money for it and you know w being able to work with whether it's comedy central or other places him having a podcast network putting other people on and that's something that at the end of what i'm doing i do want to be a media mogul in that sense too so you know i give him a lot of credit of forging new ground because people like me I learned from his mistakes and I learned from the things that he did right too. Same with Joe. You get me? Like, shit. Before I got into Spotify, shit, I listened to a million times when Joe was talking about Spotify. I had many conversations with Spotify where they were like, yo, hey, let, let's talk off the record. Do you need anything cleared up? And I asked them about a lot of shit. And I'll keep everything they told me and everything I asked them just with me. But I could tell y'all I was very okay with signing that deal. I had no problems. I ain't thinking about a motherfucking person, but my family. It was good. And in terms of I don't think I was dealing with people who were crooked. I don't think I was dealing with people who were racist. I don't think I was dealing with people who were thieves. I don't think I was dealing with people who were liars. And that was for me to figure out. Get me? So... I've learned that from watching Joe move sometimes, Charlemagne move sometimes, a lot of times talking to Charlemagne as well. But um, all that happy-go-lucky stuff, that's cute. Wheezy, I get you're trying to be on those two bum-ass niggas podcasts, but leave me out of your rhetoric because I, I'm, I'm usually here every single day and I'm obsessive. And I will love to talk about somebody for the next three months. I'm bored. Don't be that person. Okay. Um. I know I'm chatting. <laughs> so good. <clears throat> what did 